Friends, thank you for coming to our annual meeting. This is the first in a series of short videos with news from various members of our leadership team. You should have already received via email a copy of our annual report, but there is a link in the description to this document. Additionally, to vote in our elections for Mission Council and for Diocesan Convention representatives, you can click the link that was previously emailed to you or use the link in the description. A short autobiography of each person standing for election is available in the annual report document. This year, we will not be receiving nominations from the floor so that those participating in person and online have the same opportunity to vote for the same people. If you know of someone who might be a good fit for leadership within our congregation, please have that person come and speak with me. We will hear from our senior warden, Jim Lawler, about some of the administrative work completed by the Mission Council over the past year as we have navigated the waters of COVID-19. Jim has faithfully labored in this and the Lord's Vineyard to help us stay to our mission of preaching, teaching, healing, and making disciples. A hearty thanks is owed to him for this service of Mission Council and his year as Senior Warden. We are also grateful to Rob Martin, Hugh Wilson, and Sandy Raines for their service on the Council as their term expires at the end of this year. Alex Maitland will have a report for you about our facilities maintenance and long-term improvements from this year. The highlight of this Mission Council reports is going to be the ongoing plan to rehabilitate the Dial Building located at the end of the ELC's basketball court and the playground. This rehabilitation will provide much needed storage for our preschool and allow us to serve more families with affordable, high quality Christian early childhood education. John Phillips will share an update on our financial results for the year. Presently, at the time of recording, the parish side of our books has an annual net deficit of just under $15,000 and that figure annualized would grow to about $17,800. Might we come together in faithful response to what God has given us and in our financial year at a net even? I know that we can, but how might the Holy Spirit be moving you to respond? Lastly, I will share my thoughts with you and lay out the Mission Council's priorities for our ongoing shared ministry as we work towards our ministry of preaching, teaching, healing, and making disciples.